गणतंत्र दिवस की पूर्व संध्या पर देश के राष्ट्रपति प्रणब मुखर्जी का राष्ट्र के नाम संबोधन चल रहा है सीधा रुख करते हैं वहीं का स्पोर्ट्स सफर्ड आवर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर इज येट टू रिकवर फुल्ली इन 2015 वी वर आल्सो डिनाइड द बाउंटी ऑफ नेचर वाइल लार्ज पार्ट्स ऑफ इंडिया वर अफेक्टेड by severe drought other areas reeled under devastating floods unusual weather conditions impacted our agricultural production rural employment and income levels suffered fellow citizens we can call out the challenges because we are aware of them there is a great virtue in acknowledging a problem and resolving to address it india is building and implementing strategies to solve these problems this year with an estimated growth rate of 7.3% india is poised to become the fastest growing large economy contraction in global oil prices has helped maintain external sector stability and control domestic prices despite occasional setbacks industrial performance this year has been strong other with its present reach of 96 crores people is helping in direct transfer of benefits plugging leakages and improving transparency over 19 crore bank accounts opened under the pradhan mantri jan dhan yojana is the single largest exercise in the world at financial inclusion the sangshad adarsh gram yojana aims to create model villages the digital india program is an effort to bridge the digital divide the pradhan mantri fossil bima yojana targets farmers welfare increased spending on programs like mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act is aimed at enhancing employment generation to rejuvenate the rural economy the make in india campaign will boost manufacturing by facilitating easy conduct of business and improving competitiveness of domestic industry the start up india programs will foster innovation and encourage new age entrepreneurship the national skill development mission envisages skilling 300 million youth by 2022 there will be among stars occasional doubters and baiters let us continue to complain to demand to rebel this too is a virtue of democracy but let us also applaud what our democracy has achieved with investments in infrastructure manufacturing health education science and technology we are positioning ourselves well for achieving a higher growth rate which will in the next 10 to 15 years help us eliminate poverty fellow citizens reverence for the past is one of the essential ingredients of nationalism our finest inheritance the institutions of democracy ensure to all citizens justice equality and gender and economic equity 
when grim instances of violence hit at these established values which are at the core of our nationhood, it is time to take note. We must guard ourselves against the forces of violence, intolerance, and unreason.